You want to execute on your time better. You want to execute on maybe some kind of weekly diary. Maybe you're using a calendar combined with some kind of to-do lists or something like this, but you're not happy with it. Well, I'm going to help you with that. I do this a lot. I find this stuff deeply interesting. For whatever reason, this is my jam. I hope you don't judge me for it. I like the kind of holistic view of how you manage your time, understanding how things flow from one to the next so that we can ultimately have the most effective days possible but this is not just kind of fitting lots in it's fitting the right things in it's th fitting things in that you actually enjoy the things that matter is about prioritization all sorts of other things I think there's two main ways that people generally mess up executing on their time number one is planning taking too long. So we all know that planning is so effective and so useful to getting more done, but ultimately it takes a lot of time to plan. And so lots of people either do it and that just takes up a huge amount of their time or they do it in a kind of smaller way, which is not quite as effective as a more thorough plan. Number two is over planning. This is a huge trend I see. I actually coach people with time management and this is the most common thing that I see. It's almost everyone I work with. They look at their week ahead. There's someone who is ambitious. I generally work with people that are kind of very driven and ambitious. So they plan tons into their week because they want to make this a fucking good week. But that ends up with over planning and they end up not delivering on that week. And then they end up not prioritizing on what really matters from that. So this really does cause you issues and it needs to be confronted and solved better. So let's dig into solving this problem of planning taking too long. Let's start there. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you the solution that I've come up with, which I think can easily improve on fast tracking your time management. So how long does it take to plan your week? We're going to take that from a few hours to 20 minutes by the end of this YouTube video. So here it is. This is the entry to Foresight. So this is something I'm going to skip over today, which is the kind of goal system to track and monitor the goals that you might be uh, trying to achieve. There's a daily dashboard and a My Week page, but we're going to skip over all of that because what we care about today is trying to execute on your week dramatically faster. So right now it might take you several hours perhaps to look at your week ahead and, and plan it out. Or maybe it doesn't take you too long, but you're just doing it in a very shallow way because you just don't have that much uh, detail to it because you're trying to just fast track it. So this is what we're going to do in a healthier way. So we're going to use templating. Templating is the answer to fast tracking time management. It is understanding that 60% plus of your week is repeatable. Um, whether that's 30 or 60 or 80%, all of you are different, but at least 30% plus is going to be repeatable. When you wake up in the morning, what do you do? It's often very much the same habits that you're trying to achieve. Let's say it's taking your tablets in the morning. Let's say it's some kind of a morning routine. It's having certain meals through your week to achieve your fitness goals. It's doing your deep work at the right time in the morning. All of these things are born from the same template of your week. We have very, we're, we're creatures of habit. We repeat what we do. And if we repeat, we can improve. So templating is powerful because it speeds up this process because each now week that I go into, let's go back over to my week. So this is your weekly calendar, essentially. So you can see this is the current week we're in, but let's skip forward to next week. <clears throat> so you're gonna hit build your week and then you can build from this template. Not just that, it'll pull in your calendar events to be able to integrate your calendar with your week template. So this is a MVP version, so I'm just gonna quickly put in my calendar events as well. So now you can see it's pulled in the calendar events, and now ultimately too, we're able to actually plan this week in much more subtlety. So this is now obviously the actual week ahead. So let's just say, for example, I've got a long afternoon of calls, and so I'm going to not have the ability to do my deep work slot for that day. So I'm gonna just delete that card. And then I'm going to maybe remove X, Y, Z. I'm gonna slowly tidy this up. Let's just say over the weekend, I'm actually out the entire weekend at a festival. So out at a festival, 
I like to use the dancing man to plan my time. And then I start to look at the deep work slots. So I use these empty kind of uh, slots here. So where there's X's like this, this means that there's a slot to be used. So then I can click once on my to-do list. And then this is this backlog system. I'll just double click it once to show you. This is the whole backlog system. And then if I click it just once, this is just the next up list. So these are the things that I should be considering using as uh, the things to get done for the week. So let's just say, whatever, I'm gonna do some more cold outreach on my Tuesday. So I can drag that in or just change it here, do more cold outreach, stroke the neighbor's cat, important job for the afternoon. Let's keep that in there, stroke neighbor's cat key, key things to get done in my week, etc. So that you can see how I'm slowly planning my week out uh, much more specifically for each of them. And so this process of templating, you can see what I didn't have to do was set the card or set the job in my to-do list to go and do my ice bath or to go and do the meditation afterwards or to complete my morning routine because those things do not change every day. They are repeatable week on week on week. And so as I go through, this is dramatically speeding up this process. And this to-do list is nicely subtle because often what people will do is they'll give up and they'll do, I'm gonna go with my top three things to organize my time, but your top three things is only looking at the big things. It's looking at the, you know, maybe do more cold outreach for that day, or it's maybe a sales call with Elon or whatever it's gonna be, but that is the big things. The little things matter too. So say taking your tablets in the morning, uh, remembering to whatever, X, Y, Z, do your meditation, all of these smaller things, which are often very health related or relationships or other things like that, they matter as well, and so they should be important. Or even just small morning tasks, like for me, it's checking my um, goals for the day ahead and for the week ahead, or, or other things like this. Business related or personal, these small things matter, and templating is the fast track to get you there. So this is the templating system within Foresight. This comes with an entire backlog system, as I showed you, that feeds into and combines with this templating system. Something that I'm playing with right now is breaking my weeks up into different types of week. So for example, I do YouTube videos, and then I also have Snowball Creations, my ads agency, and then I do Foresight stuff around my, my, this piece of software that you're looking at right now. And so I might have weeks focused on each of these different things that I'm doing so that I can go into a much deeper and, and focused space for an entire week on one particular objective. So that's where I'm particularly enjoying this templating system because you can create as many as you like within this system. You can create new and it will create as many as you like and you, you build from there. So there we have it. That is the templating system within this tool Foresight, which I'm really, really enjoying using. And this will save you significant time. Generally before I was using a system called Trello, which I'm sure you probably know. And it took me genuinely about a couple of hours each week to go through copying and pasting, creating these templates. And it just was not an efficient use of my time. It was not effective, but this templating, it doesn't just save you time. It lets you iterate. This is the thing that I think is a really hidden benefit from all of this. Once you have a template, you can develop that template. So the template that you saw was an example one, but the template that I use, I have been iterating on that for now around seven or eight years. So I have considered and played with and toyed with how best do I flow through my morning into my deep work, into my afternoon of calls, etc. So this game of iteration is not possible unless you have a weak template. So this is a powerful feature that will make your life far, far better. You will execute better than you ever have. So I hope it helps. I hope it does all of that stuff I just said. <laughs> if you'd like to watch the other video, it's about understanding that over planning is because you're not looking back on what you're really actually doing and so you're not prioritizing. That's what that video talks about, which is really, really valuable. So it talks about the AI that's built into Foresight to help you to solve that problem of over planning. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you subscribe as well because I really enjoy making these. If this kind of execution stuff is the stuff that gets you excited, well then great. I'm a happy man because you are one of me. We are the same and I hope to see you in the next one.